What's up everyone, Beast Mode back here with another video. So today we are going to cover the two decks in the finals of the Beast Mode Circuit Series Tournament. Number five took place last night. Um, 16 player single elimination tournament. We're running these uh, pretty frequently. I think, well, like I said, this is the fifth one. We had one big tournament with 50 players uh, that gave invites and roles slash titles to the top four players typically when we have the 16 person tournaments the winner will get a role and a title in the discord server beast mode discord server which is in the description and um so we'll get into the final decks here this was the ice queen uh playing absolute zero essentially diva hero and uh this deck is making a comeback it's Pretty standard, I would say, obviously. I think this is more along the lines of a true hero's build. Um, so, again, one of the Diva Hero decks topped the last RBET tournament. So, I do think that this deck is definitely viable. Um, I think in my tier list video, I had it as an A-tier deck. Definitely can still top tournaments, can steal wins. Um, deck is very explosive. Triple Caius is so good. Um, Triple Miracle Fusion. So, as many have said, and I'm sure you've all heard many times over, that the biggest problem with the deck is consistency. You know, sometimes you draw a diva, or or uh, you might draw a hero, but no water, and then you, or you draw just a bunch of miracle fusion. So that's the problem with the deck that it just lacks consistency. Um, this deck does not run gold sark, which is surprising because that does help with some of the issues of the deck. Um, I think that's the biggest flaw with the deck is that it's extremely explosive when you draw the right pieces, but getting the right pieces is a challenge, especially in a long tournament where you have to win eight, nine, ten rounds. If you're, you know, if you end up going into losers bracket or something in an RBET, it's hard to make it out of losers bracket with a deck like this. I feel because especially without the gold socks, because it's just a matter of time before you brick and then your opponent capitalizes on that. So, um, really like the deck. Plays a lot like. Obviously, the Silchus Hero Zombies, very similar, um, which that deck feels a little bit more consistent because of the fact that it plays a zombie engine. Um, and they do similar things. Obviously, this, the Hero Zombie deck does not play the Miracle Fusions, but they, they play a lot alike, it feels. So, um, side deck, pretty standard here. Double Dino, I think that's like mandatory at this point. Thunder King's a pretty good card overall. Uh, double Starlight Road, I guess that's just mainly for Blackwing. I see it in a lot of uh, side decks with this tournament. Last last week when I posted videos, another player had double Starlight. So um, definitely in a lot of sideboards lately. But congrats to the Ice Queen for making it to the finals. Uh, she's on our team, actually, Team X2. Um, probably over the last six months has gotten much better at the card game. She's really good. It's, it's a matter of time before she tops her premier tournament. So um, shout out to her. And then we have our winner here. This here is... Fraser Smith, I'm Nerd Podcast. He has a YouTube channel. Of those of you who don't know, which you'd have to be living under a rock if you don't know who Fraser Smith is. It's one Shonen Jumps, top Shonen Jumps. Great player overall. Has a, has a really cool YouTube channel where he does podcasts. Mainly talks about Edison. I don't believe he plays current Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and really good Edison player. I don't know if he plays in a lot of the tournaments yet or if he if he does or not. I don't know if the RBTs and whatnot, but played in the beast mode circuit series which is cool to have a high profile player like that in the tournament um playing hero frogs so the five bcs tournaments we've had there has been a different w winner there has not been a repeat yet and the decks have been different there has been a frog deck that won um the large event but that was a diva frog so i know people who play frogs really specify the version that they play so there there is a lot of differences uh, this here plays the miracle fusions um this deck here, again, I don't play frogs, but in my opinion, is probably the best deck when it works because of how explosive it can be. But I think this is probably the more inconsistent build because of the fact that it's playing the Miracle Fusions. And again, it runs into some of the same issues as Diva Hero does, where you might have Miracle Fusions, not have heroes and um, whatnot. So in my opinion, again, I don't play frogs. I think if I was to probably play a deck in terms of consistency, I would probably play the Junk deck or the diva deck i think they're probably both very similar this deck here in terms of ceiling I, I don't think any of those other decks can compare but again i think you sacrifice a bit of consistency for it but i'm not sure again i don't look at the frog decks very in in depth i would say I, i'm sure that he switched a few cards around here to try to get this to be as good as it can get um so yeah frogs here triple threatening roar is really obnoxious when you're trying to play against this deck because you just can't otk them um so this definitely stalls a bit with the with the threatening roar and the one battle fader just to really find those combo pieces because this plays more of a combo deck with the miracle fusions and stuff so um the the sideboard here 
just destroys just about every other deck out there. Like you can't, you're playing zombies. You got triple DD Crow. You have to deal with triple Vandy's Fiend. Siding in the double Soul Exchange to really play like a full Monarch type build with you know control style Soul Exchange Vandy's Fiend Monarchs, um, triple Dust. Definitely, the deck is so resilient, and I've, I've been saying that over many videos that frogs have come a long way. It's constantly getting refined, and again, I put them at the top of the S tier. I, I do think that this is the, the best deck of the format as of right now. I think that you're more than likely going to see this continuing to top events, um, and I don't think it's leagues better than any of the other S, tech, S tier decks. I think it's just there. Um, like Christius Warren, I believe, is an S tier deck, Blackwing still. So anyway... This here was the he's the winner. Congrats to Fraser Smith. Check out his YouTube channel. I'm Nerd Podcast. I believe is. I'll tr see if I can link it in the description. If you guys want to play in these tournaments right now, we're talking about possibly moving them to Saturdays and maybe running one or two a month because we're getting a lot of um, a lot of people want to play. Like last night, we we filled up in like 20 minutes and like people wanted to play, and then some people didn't show up at eight o'clock. It was kind of crazy. And uh, maybe there's a chance that we can really make this like a 32 person tournament and maybe run it on like a Saturday evening around five ish or something. I haven't really talked it out yet. We're still thinking about it, but there will not be one this Friday night anyway, because there is a three V three tournament taking place on the format library discord three V three Edison tournament. So if you guys want to play in that, I would join the discord, try to find a team. There is a discord channel there that you can look for uh, teammates also, you know, obviously the Beast Mode Discord server, there's plenty of people on there too. So if, you, if you're looking for somebody, just post uh, in the chats, in the discords. And um, also some things I've been thinking about, if, if I can find some people that are willing to help, is a possible Edison War League. Probably won't be as extravagant as Goat War League. And I know some people are opposed to that, but um, I know a few people I've been in talks with are definitely interested in trying to have something like this for the Edison format because... Um, I play in the Goat War League. It was my first season. It's just super, super fun. And um, I really think that there could be a way to grow the format. And, and that's my goal when I with this whole channel is everything is really just to continue to grow the Edison community. And that's why I give shout outs to pretty much everybody that has a decent YouTube channel. It's really um, quality content. I always shout everybody out because I think that's the way that we really grow the format for everybody. So um, that's something that I'm going to try to work out. We'll see. I can't make any promises yet. But Anyway, if you guys haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to push 1,000 subscribers, and um, I'll post a link in the Discord. Please join the Discord if you guys want to play in tournaments. And I will see you all on the next one.